For this video, we are assuming that you are already comfortable listing out all of the factors of a given number. Part A is asking us to find the highest common factor of 22 and 16. To find the highest common factor, what we can do is list out all of the factors of 22 and all of the factors of 16 and look for the biggest number that is in both lists. That will be a common factor of 22 and 16 because it's in both lists. And because we're looking for the biggest of those numbers, that will be the highest common factor. So let's list out the factors of 22 and 16. These are 1, 2, 11 and 22. I've written these in order uh, just to make it easier for us to spot the highest common factor once we've got both lists. Anyway, the factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16. Now, which numbers are in both lists? Well, 1 is in both lists and 1 is therefore a common factor of 22 and 16. In fact, 1 is going to be a common factor to any pair of whole numbers because 1 goes into every single whole number. But it's not the highest common factor of these two numbers because you'll see that we've got a 2 in both lists. So the highest common factor is actually 2. 2 is the biggest number that goes into 22 and 16. In part B, we are looking for the lowest common multiple of 22 and 16. That means we want to find the smallest number that's in the 22 times table and the 16 times table. And we can do this by listing out the first few multiples of each and seeing when we've got a number that appears in both lists. So the multiples of 22 are 2, 44, 66, 88, 110 and so on. Now remember the multiples of a number are simply all the numbers in its times table. The multiples of 16 are the numbers in the 16 times table and they are 16, 32, 48. Now of course you're not expected to know your 16 times table off the top of your head but you can simply start at 16 and keep adding 16 as you go. So 48 plus 16 is 64, then we get 80. And what I've done here is listed out the first five multiples of 16 and the first five multiples of 22. And so far we haven't got any number that is in both lists. So I'll carry them on for a little while. Now what I'll actually do is carry on with the multiples of 16 because I haven't got as far as this number yet. So I'll keep going because I might get there. So next I'd have 96, then I would have 112, which is close to 110, but it's not exact, so we'll keep going. Then we would have 128, then we would have 144. Um, what I'll do is continue with the 22 times table, the multiples of 22. Adding 22 onto there, we get 132. Adding 22 again, we get 154. I still don't have a number that's in both lists, so let's carry on. We would have 176 next. Let's carry on with the multiples of 16. Next, we would have 160, and then we would have 176. So there we go. We've had to go quite a long way, but we have found a number that is a multiple of 22 and a multiple of 16. And this is the smallest there isn't a smaller number that happens to be in both of these lists at the same time. So the lowest common multiple of 22 and 16 is 176. Now for some questions you might not have to list out quite so many as we've had to do here, but in some cases you will. 